Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 24 days of Avita Day Alley. Today's video is going to be me talking about something going into 2021. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give a big thumbs up if you do. If you're not already subscribed, please go and subscribe. It really make my day and let's just jump into it. So today I want to talk to you guys about 10 things that I am no longer buying going into 2021. So with the new year coming, I have been looking at my goals for 2021 and the things I want to do in regards to goals, money, etc. And one of the biggest areas in my life that I need to get under control, I'm going to be fully transparent here, is money. Money is one of the areas that I struggle with just in general, uh, managing it, everything under the sun. So one of my big things for 2021 is to get that under control and eliminate debt and all the things. But I wanted to talk to you guys about 10 things after looking at my budget that I have decided to stop spending money on. So that is what I'm going to share with you right now. So number one is clothing. So recently I did another massive declutter of my closet, of my dresser, and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of backstory. So minimalism is something that I've been practicing for a while, but I've always justified it as one thing in, one thing out kind of thing. I've always like been like, oh, I can get this and then we can get rid of this, etc., etc. And then there was also the big push that I found for ethical clothing, which I love ethical clothing, but I've noticed now that I'm interested in ethical clothing and I buy ethical pieces, I haven't really dealt with the root of the problem on either end of the spectrum, which is consumerism. So I had originally gone into 2021 thinking about doing 21 in 2021, but recently I made, which was buying 21 ethical pieces in 2021, but recently I have made the decision that I'm going to go in and do a no clothing buy year. The reason being is that I really need to look at my spending and get my spending under control and just deal with the consumerism problem that is very much a part of my lifestyle that I've really tried to break the cycle many times, but I'm finding myself in the position where I am still doing it and that needs to be dealt with because I am a single mom. I can't really be, you know, spending all kinds of money that I don't have for things that are just not going to work. Number two is jewelry. Over the course of 2020, I have spent a lot of money on jewelry, on things that I don't really wear, um, like earrings, necklaces, bracelets, all of that. I have the core pieces of jewelry that I do wear and then I alternate between and I have my Fitbit that I do wear because watches was again something in the jewelry category that I was spending a lot of money on and in reality I wear my Fitbit, I wear my core pieces of jewelry, I have certain earrings that I prefer to wear over the other ones so I will not be buying jewelry this year. That is something that has really just kind of looking at financials, you really start to see where your money's going and down that rabbit hole. And I do not want to buy things that I will not use. So number three is a little tricky for me because I do wear makeup and I do love makeup and I do enjoy um, trying new things. But recently over the, over the last, um, time frame I've noticed one category of makeup that I'm continuously buying and going crazy like everything else I find you know one thing that works minus eyeshadow palettes eyeshadow palettes is something that I'm always rotating through and just constantly like switching up because I like to do that with my eyeshadow 
but I've realized over the last year and a half that there's two, I'm sorry, two pieces of makeup that I've really just been constantly buying and sometimes I've had two or more in my makeup bag and that is mascara and that is eyeliner and that is something that I do not want to continue to do. I want to find the eyeliner that works for me and find the mascara that works for me and that's the end of it because that's how I like to be with my makeup is using truly, truly only the product that I do enjoy and that I do like and that I don't need like 50 shades of blush or all of those things even though I do love makeup it's just something that is really really something that I need to watch consumer wise because makeup can add up and it can be difficult to um really focus on number four is shoes so recently when I did my declutter I went through my shoes and I realized that I had so many shoes that I wasn't even wearing and that I didn't go towards at all. And I only had them because either they were bought for me or I spent money on them and I couldn't justify just getting rid of them. Well, this time around, I did get rid of them and I kept only certain shoes and those are really truly the shoes that I wear and that I enjoy wearing. And that I do actually use and I don't need to spend crazy amounts of money on shoes that I do not wear you're gonna see like a theme with this um, number five is something that I cut out of my budget thanks to something that I found um, I, over the course of 2020, spent a lot of money on face wipes and makeup remover. And recently, I purchased, I don't want to say recently, I say want to say like five months ago, I started purchasing, I purchased the makeup eraser, which can be washed and you can just take your makeup off. And honestly, that has been the best thing that I've done for myself because I don't spend the money on the makeup erase on the makeup wipes or the makeup remover, which adds up quite, quite, quite a lot of things. So that is something that I have really noticed um, has significantly cut my budget. Number six is something that I can go through phases with. I go through phases of eating at home and eating out. Um, I go through phases of drive through like Pandera, Pan, um, Panera, like those sorts of things, Uber Eats. I go through phases where I do all those things and then I eat at home. And the months that I ate out or had food delivered, especially during quarantine when I just didn't feel like cooking myself lunch or I didn't feel like cooking dinner. I spent money in those categories. I've realized that I've spent a lot of money those months that I didn't need to necessarily spend. So that is something that I'm completely cutting out of my budget in 2021. Um, that's something that I'm just really going to be focusing on and really making sure that I don't spend money on going out to eat. I've noticed that I don't do it enough where it would really like affect my budget, but with quarantine, I did it a lot. So that is something that I'm definitely going to be reining in in 2021. Number seven is another kind of like thing that I've noticed that I've been spending a lot of money and time on um is getting is hair care recently I've realized that I use the certain talent styling tools that I use I use the certain products that I use I like these certain products but I'm always trying new things and it honestly I'm spending a lot of money on different things that I don't need to spend money on in regards to hair care. Um, it's just not something that I need to be focusing on going into 2021 at all. Um, 
that's just something that I don't need to do. Number eight, I believe we're on, is something that surprisingly I didn't realize as much that I did during 2020 that I do now. Dress clothes. Dress clothes, like dress pants, blazers, um, a copious amounts of blouses. Honestly, I work as a teacher. My dress code is pretty casual. I'm sorry, teacher's aide. My dress code is pretty casual. Um, I do wear some blouses, but not much. Um, I'm in a kindergarten classroom, pre-K. Things get, things get stained easily. Um, and I was buying like dress clothes that were dry clean only. Like, let's be real. That's not me. That's not my lifestyle. I'm also a mom. That's just not foreseeable to have dry clean only things. So recently I decluttered. I kept one pair of dress pants. I kept like three, maybe four blouses that I actually love and wear and utilize and got rid of all the rest because in all reality, I just don't wear those things and they're taking up space in my closet and there's stuff that's just not needed. And that is something that I'm really, really, truly just focusing on. Not again, another category, not spending money. Number nine is something that I feel like all of us women get trapped into, which is designer purses. So recently when I was decluttering my closet, I went through my purses. I kept three purses that I actually use and actually like get used. A lot of them were like Michael Kors, Coach, like designer purses that I just didn't use. But I kept three. I kept my Kate Spade satchel, which I use for everyday use. I kept my Rebecca Minkoff crossbody which I like for travel, quick little errands, things that I don't necessarily need, everything in the world. I should say I kept four because I also kept my work bag, which is my Everlane um, Day Tote, Everlane Market Tote, Everlane Day Tote. I, it, it's their like bigger tote. Um, I really, really like that for work. I put my computer in there. I put my planner in there. I put like my lesson plans in there. Everything just fits. My only complaint is, is that it doesn't have a zipper, which can make me a little eh, but it is what it is. And the last one I kept was my Urban Expressions Evening Clutch, which can be a crossbody or I can hold because I do go to some nicer events, even though um, like I have some weddings, like people are getting married in my family. It's just nice to have a fancier clutch for things in regards to that um, category. Number 10. So number 10 is something that um, doesn't necessarily need to be cut from my budget and that's something I no longer buy, but it's something I'm choosing to no longer use. Once my credit cards are paid off, I am no longer going to use them. They have become too convenient for me to use um, for things instead of saving for purchases or etc. That is something that I'm just no longer going to use that is my personal preference some of you may have other styles but those are the 10 things that I am either removing from my budget or cutting from my budget or no longer using so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give a big thumbs up if you do if you're not subscribed please go and subscribe it really make my day and I will see you all next time